y'all. Welcome back to Rated RPG, your number one channel for gaming news and commentary. I'm Ray, your host. Let's get into it. First off, I want to apologize for the change in the background scenery and the poor audio quality, but unfortunately, my air conditioner is out, so I'm filming at an alternate location, specifically the downstairs office, because the repair guy is upstairs and I can't get into the studio at the moment. So let's talk about Persona 5 The Royal, which is an upcoming game going to be released in Japan first, of course, but then it's going to make its way over here to the West, and I personally cannot wait for this. Uh, I mean, I really can't. Persona 5, loved it every second of it. I loved the aesthetic. I loved the story. I loved the gameplay. <clears throat> it's not often that you still are able to get a turn-based RPG to come in and just sweep so many people away. And it really did it just because of the fantastic storyline and style that it presented itself with. And one of the main things that it presented itself with was its opening intro. Uh, fantastic. The, the soundtrack and that original opening intro was also just completely fantastic. But now we have got something else in addition, and that is the opening for the new game, Persona 5 The Royal. I gotta say, I really still dig this new intro. It, of course, showcases a certain evolution of the characters. At this point, we know who these characters are. We know what they're going to become. So people who have not played Persona 5 may look at them and their alter egos and say, what the heck, you're spoiling a little bit here for me. But really, Persona 5 The Royal, I feel, is meant to be experienced by those who already experienced Persona, but now want the expanded adventure and the expanded storylines and character developments that's going to be put into this game. Not to mention, getting our upfront first real appearance of the new female companion. I apologize off the top of my head, I've forgotten her name, which is really embarrassing, but... We are just looking forward to seeing her and her role in the game. Is she going to be introduced earlier on, or is she going to be introduced in the third semester that is being added to the game? Whatever the case, that whole third semester means there's going to be a new arc to the story, and I cannot wait. Atlas has a proven track record of good games. I just finished playing through Catherine Full Body, and I love that game. I love it. Not a big fan of the puzzle platforming, but the story is every bit an Atlas story. Now, all this to say that Persona 5 The Royal is something that, really, it's something worth waiting for, because the original game was just fantastic. I'm not going to spend too much time on this, because I don't have my usual accoutrements, but I just wanted to get something out today, and I thought this new intro sequence was something worth talking about. Uh, before I go, though, please make sure if you like the video to like it, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon for notifications. I would really appreciate that, and every little bit helps. Let's continue to build this channel together. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good night. Hey there, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can get all the latest gaming news from Rated RPG.